How do I install a metal W Valley? Well, first let me uh, elaborate. The reason we use W Valley instead of flat metal in a valley is if you're leaving the metal exposed, you don't want the water from one side of the roof to get a heavy flow and wash all the way across the valley and run underneath the shingles on the opposing side and create a leak. So first thing we're going we're gonna to do is use W Valley. The W Valley has a ridge that's crimped along the middle of the valley and it gives us a nice sharp line along the middle of the valley. We're going to push that ridge into the, into the valley nice and tight and then nail it in on both sides. And then we're going to chalk a line along either side of the, of the middle W. And that, that line that we're chalking on there is going to get wider at the bottom so it leaves a wider channel for us to install, uh, for us to, to have heavier water flow as the water flows down the roof. Once we have that line chalked on either side of the valley, we're going to uh, run the shingles across in the flow of installation and as they get into the valley, we'll cut them off along that chalk line. One thing I'll warn you is it, that tends to create a tip that runs all the way into the valley, a sharp tip. If that happens, uh, blunt that tip off uh, back about three or four inches so you don't have a tip that runs into the valley. And I've seen water run uh, catch along those tips and run out 15 feet underneath the shingles. So there's your little pointer for, to prevent leakage. Hey, it's been nice to talk to you. If you need some help on, on, on correctly getting a roof installed, if you need your roof inspected or checked, call All American Roofing. In Oklahoma City, it's 787-0400, or in Tulsa, it's 583-0100. You'll be glad you called us. Have a great day. Bye.